It's the Rock Man back at it again. The gym has reopened up with limited membership in my area and some other restrictions. But I chased the pump down there this week like the filthy pump whore that I am. <laughs> and that's good because I use the machines a lot to increase my variation, training variation, so that I don't get these overuse injuries from uh, nothing but the barbell for 12 weeks, for example. My elbow's still not feeling great, and my right pec is starting to get a little tweakage in the tendon, so I needed something that uh, takes the stress off my pecs a little bit more. I decided to go for the machine dips. These have kind of become a favorite. And I kept the first four sets real strict, and then I hit a decent tempo with the fifth one to see if I could beat my last previous best uh, AMRAP of 18, I think. Uh, from the last cycle that I was able to do 375 pounds on the bench press. And then this was on Sunday. Uh, I decided to go in and do an arm day because my back has some little tweakage in it. I was moving some heavy timbers around in the yard. I think that set it off. So no squats really this week. Um, and I haven't done bar barbell curls in forever. So I just took it real light on the back work and the tricep stuff, give everything 15 to 20 repetitions. And then I went over and hit some barbell curls. Why the hell not? Uh, it's unusual for me to be able to leave the elbow sleeves on and do this kind of work, but it wasn't like I was hitting limit sets or anything. So um, not trying to piss off those bicep tendons because that shit takes forever to get rid of. And I worked up to the heaviest barbell we got. Did it for a couple. I wouldn't even call it RPE6. Uh, I was going to put the chains on it, but I just decided to leave it there and chase some more hypertrophy work. I put the chains on a lighter barbell, the 60-pounder, just so that it would be a little bit over 100 pounds, about halfway up. And I thought that this would be kind of a novelty exercise just to feel cool and throw around the chains like a badass, but it was brutal to do these for three sets of 10, and every one of them gave me an insta-pump in my biceps, which I just have not had in an eternity, because I don't do barbell curls for anything. Now, a lot of that is, it's kind of hard to stabilize it at the top. Look, I'm dancing around like an idiot, just instantly pumped in my biceps. It was fucking cool. And I thought that my money wouldn't be on the bicep stuff. It was going to be on the tricep stuff with the chains. Uh, since my elbow is kind of feeling shitty, I thought, well, reducing the weight at the bottom of the movement would um, not aggravate it. So I'd be able to use a little bit lighter weight and then toward lockout it would get heavier but these uh didn't really do that much for me i mean it was okay i definitely got some stimulation but it wasn't nothing crazy uh, interesting but yeah i don't think it was quite heavy enough uh, i'm gonna keep fooling around with it when the gym is as empty as it was uh, on sunday it'll be nice to mess around with anyway uh, so, yeah, I've got to do my proper video compilation on the hashtag four lifts competition for March and April. Going to feature everybody that I can. Jesse Weissong, West Side Boy, Dylan, anybody who's got lifts up the last couple of weeks. And uh, the doc, I don't know if you guys have noticed, Greatest Lifter Alive appears to have nuked his channel. And I've got a theory about that, but let me know what you guys think in the comments section. No, oh, and this is the last set of the uh, barbell curls. Pop that shirt off. Do the curls for the girls, baby. So, I don't know. Jesse Weissong did it, I'm going to say. I don't remember if he did or not. but I fucking felt like it, so kiss my ass. <laughs> um. These were fun, having fun with training, not pushing it too hard. 
It's maybe in some injuries at the moment. Going to try for a heavy bench press by the end of May. Hopefully, hope you guys are training strong. Thanks for watching.